As the title suggests, I'm going to share with you two Blender tools that are must have when it comes to sci-fi scenes creation in Blender. So without further ado, let's get started. Cablurator Cablurator is a Blender add-on for creating and editing hanging cables. It features the ability to create cables by clicking on geometry, create cables between points of curves, draw cables on geometry or planes, create cables from edges, create hanging cables from objects, create massive numbers of cables between selected faces, use blender physics to simulate cables, create insulation between selected cables or objects, create multiple rope-like structures between selected cables or objects, edit multiple cables with and assign profile quickly. It also allows you to add geometry as segments and endpoints for cables and it allows you to create cables based on meshes. Also you can split cables with multi-curve profile to separate cables and also you can add and remove hooks to cable points. Now the add-on is being updated consistently so the 1.3 update includes simulation, masses for cables, insulation and various improvements. Also the 1.4 update is live now and include this rope thing that add a rope like structure encircling selected curves or objects and the result of the function is a polycurve. And the latest 1.45 update brings some quality of life adjustments along with, along with laying down foundation for geometry nodes cables and asset browser integration. Now the second add-on is called the Platin Generator in Grebos, which is a blender add-on for 3D modelers and concept artists that adds paneling patterns and maps multiple objects into flat or curved mesh surfaces. It uses specially designed algorithm to generate different patterns from selected faces. Some of its features are the ability to generate a panel lines or scatter smaller objects using a random seed, use on flat or curved surfaces or faces, choose from a range of completely customizable plating patterns, save, reuse and share your own preset configuration or choose from a variety of pre-bundled ones to get you started. You can create your own Gribble object libraries or choose from the standard default library. The objects can either be created and edited separately or integrated into the base object. You can go back and change the patterns and gribbles from a fixed control panel at any time when they are created as separate objects. You can create a whole quad based mesh on a sub selection of quad faces and you can control the depth of grooves, heights of the panels, thickness of the grooves, make corners around it and add bevel effects. You can add your own materials and vary panel color through vertex colors and gribbles can either be overlapping or non-overlapping. Gribbles can either conform to the shape of the face or maintain their proportions. You have the option to completely remove the grooves and leave the plates intact. The add-on also features the Gribble library which is a collection that contains 271 3D meshes that you can use to spread across the walls and halls of your spaceships, stations, futuristic cities and other objects you may have. And that's in order to quickly make them look much more detailed and complicated in your final render. It's also important to note that the add-on is being developed and updated with tons of bug fixes and new tools and features for 4 years now, so make sure to check out the update devlog on the Blender Market page linked in the description. Now if you want to check out this add-on, link is in the description. Tell me in the comments below what do you think about this add-on. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.